Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to learn another way of how we can use JavaScript to find sensitive information. And in this particular video, we are going to learn about how we can find links from JavaScript files using burp suit. But before going to this video, as always, if you haven't checked out my previous video, in which I have shown you that how we can enumerate virtual host from a server to increase our attack surface, then go ahead and check it out. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Also, if you are new to our channel and if you haven't checked out our website, which is bepractical.tech, then go ahead and check it out. You are missing a lot of things like awesome contents related to cybersecurity and web development. And we have labs related to cybersecurity like account takeover labs currently, wherein you will learn that how you can exploit websites misconfiguration that can ultimately lead you to hack anyone's account without even interaction of the victim, right? So all of these labs are based on real world scenario. So definitely go ahead and check them out. Right. So with that being said, let's get started. Right. So first of all, if you have a doubt in your mind, like why there is a need of enumerating links from the JavaScript, right? So in simple terms, uh, I can say that JavaScript contains a lot of juicy information that many bug bounty hunters or penetration uh, testers left uh, leave unseen. Right. So this is the reason why you should look for JavaScript files. Maybe you'll get an endpoint that is uh, leaking some sensitive information, BII information, like username, password, etc. Right. So you never know. So many times developers, what the developers do, they basically uh, add some sensitive links, sensitive endpoints, like let's say API, V1, admin, right, wherein you'll get all the uh, uh, details of each user in that if you hit that particular uh, endpoint, right. So a lot of cases will be seen uh, where the JavaScript uh, endpoints, uh, the endpoints which get leaked in the JavaScript code resulted in uh, a lot of PII leaks and so many sensitive information, right. So this is the reason why you should look into JavaScript files. So I hope I'm clear. And now let us try to understand that how we can use burp suit to uh, enumerate JavaScript files, right. So there's one uh, small thing that I want to mention is that you need to have burp suit pro version, professional version installed in your machine so that you can able to use this. Otherwise, it won't work. But don't worry, even if you don't have burp suit professional version, then uh, you can download the crack version as well. But make sure to use those cracked version into your secondary operating system because they're not very much secured, right? So with that being said, nine. So with that being said, let's get started. Now, as you can see, I have my browser over here. So let me just uh, start my burp suit real quick. Let's just wait for a few seconds and it's going to start. Meanwhile, we need to download a file which is known as jpython, right? So uh, it is loaded. Let me just turn off the intercept for now. And let me just turn off the passive crawl and audit. And now let me just uh, change my proxy settings to burp suit and we're good to go. First thing that we need to download is known as jpython, right? So let me just download it real quick. So I can just type down, download jpython, hit enter. And don't worry, this link will be also given in the description. So you can just go and download it, right? So if I scroll down, we'll get jpython somewhere over here. So let's just see where it is. JPython. So here we are, we have the JPython over here. Or uh, we can do one thing that we can just go to the extension. Then the, in the extender, we are going to go to the B app store. And the tool that we are going to download is a link finder. Let me just show you over here. So there's the file JS link finder, right? So here this uh, button is given download Jython. Sorry, it's not JPython, it's Jython. Just click on this and here we are. So this link is given in the description. So just go ahead and click on that link and you will be redirected over here, right? And now you need to download this particular file, Jython standalone. Just click on this and it will start downloading. Just wait for a few seconds and it's going to start. And as you can see, the file has been downloaded. Now what we need to do is we need to go back to our burp suit and over here, we need to go to the options uh, settings options inside the extender, wherein we have to specify the, uh, this particular Python environment. So just click on select file and locate the file where it has been downloaded. So in, our, in my case, it is downloaded in downloads. So just select that file and click on open. And that's it. We are good to go. Now just go back to B app store. So just refresh it and let's click on it again. And as you can see, 
now it is showing install right so just click on that and start installing again it is going to take some time depending on your internet connection but as you can see it has been downloaded now and now we are good to go now we can actually see what are the links uh, are hidden behind a javascript file now that we are able to install burp link find js link finder in our burp suit let us try to see that how we can use this tool to find hidden information behind a javascript file right so let me just open my browser over here and let's say that i want to find javascript endpoints on a target let's say bbc.co.uk right so what i can do let me just configure my burp suit real quick so i'm going to add the bbc.co.uk in the scope so just bbc will do and uh, yes and over here what i want to do i want to enable passive crawl as well as active uh, the audit from proxy right so you need to activate both of these things so that uh, this particular extension will work right now let's enable both of them and now let us try to visit bbc.co.uk like a normal user will do right just browse this so just type bbc.com and just browse this particular web application like any normal user right like let's say i'm going to click on this particular uh, article let's just wait this is the article okay nothing interesting now let's head back to burp suit and let's see whether it has been able to find something in the uh, javascript or not like if if it is able to find a javascript a link in the javascript or not so just click on burp js link finder and over here as you can see it has found something so this is the javascript file in which it has found this particular uh, link right and let's browse this more and let's see if it can find anything else just click on sign in or anything so uh, i'm just giving you a demonstration like how you can use this particular extension on a norm, norm, normal target right you just need to do nothing just browse the application like you would in normal as a normal user right and just go to a burp suit and if you'll click on the js link finder you will see that okay it has been able to find these many links right so as you can see it has identified a javascript file in which it has found these many urls right and if you check over here so i think there's this label keys um config producer so maybe we'll get some uh, details about producers right so and there's a lot of links that it has been able to find so this is how you can use this particular tool to find links inside a javascript file without using any third party tool so it's just came, uh, came integrated in the burp suit right so but there's one catch that you need to have the burp suit professional version and i suggest you all to use the crack version but don't use it on your uh, main device instead use it on your secondary operating system and it will work like magic so as you can see we got bbc.com user info maybe the, it will leak some pii information of, of course i'm not going to test it out right so this is i'm just going to uh, i'm just giving you the demonstration right so how you can use this tool so if you have any doubts then feel free to comment your doubts in the comment section right so this is it again if you have any doubts any issues then feel free to comment your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technology going under cyber security as well as web development or if you want to discuss something right so go ahead and join the telegram channel the link is displaying over here as well as you can just go to the description link and click on the link of the telegram right one more thing that i am currently running two courses on udemy so the first one is uh, bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takers wherein you will learn that how to dive deep into the application how to look for business logic bugs how to look for bugs that can result in account takeovers like hack anyone's account without user interaction right so all of these things that we are going to cover in this course are based on practical scenarios and will be doing hands on practical right and the second course which i am currently running on udemy is hacking windows with python from scratch wherein you will learn that how hackers actually create their custom payload to hack anyone's windows machine which the payload can be bypassable by any antivirus the payload can execute system command and can access webcam and so many things right so i have explained each of these thing in practical demonstration in that particular course so if you like the way i teach then go ahead and check these courses out if you want to and with that being said thanks for watching and keep learning